Hey, it's Erin from Bookings and Bobbles, and today I'm going to talk to you about what size materials you can work on in the Glowforge. So on one of my recent videos, someone commented about um, the two inch height rule with the Glowforge. Um, I'll link the video up here if you want to check it out. So basically, when I was filming my uh, glass plate video, I wasn't sure how like tall of material you can use in a Glowforge. I had seen a comment on a Glowforge video by Glowforge that two inches was the max height of an object that could go in the Glowforge. I assumed that that was with the crumb tray in, but that's not with the crumb tray in. Apparently it's with the crumb tray out two inches is as high as the material can be. And so I kind of wanted to explore this a little bit today because I really thought that since there was like some space between the head of the Glowforge and the bed of the Glowforge, I thought that the two inches was that space, but it is not. And so I'm going to remove the crumb tray and I've got a couple um, dollar store items that I had bought to use in the Glowforge, and we'll see if they actually do fit in the Glowforge. Okay, so here are the two items that I'm going to be testing to see if they fit in the Glowforge. And just measuring the wine glass. Oops, and just measuring the wine glass, it looks like the top of the wine glass is about two inches round, maybe like 2.25 or something. But we'll set this in here and then I'm going to secure it with some magnets just to make sure that it doesn't roll. And we'll test this and see if it fits. I think the two inch rule is to make sure that nothing actually catches. And that is cutting it really close. But I think when you start moving this over, yeah, that would definitely hit. And so you might think that you have some more room if you're basing it off of that, but really you're basing it off of this. So nope, the wine glass is not going to work. The flute will be just fine though. And then if that doesn't work, then this one definitely won't work. That is the problem with just eyeing these things in the store. So probably I think what I'll do with this instead is just get some chalk paint and paint the chalk paint right here. And then you can use it for chalk. Or, and then you can just write on it with chalk, which will be cute as well. Another thing that I assumed about measuring with the Glowforge was that as long as, so as long as it's not right up against here, it should be fine. But the head of the Glowforge is actually about 2.75 inches from the very base. And Glowforge recommends two inches. And so I think you don't want to have anything up too close to the head and to the actual laser because that'll probably throw it off. And even with autofocusing, I don't think you can even put in a number um, that's higher than 0.5 inches. But I am a little curious to know if you like technically could have the material a little closer to the head if you did want something a little taller than two inches. And then if you could just mess with and adjust the power but I think that would probably void the warranty if you did decide to mess with something like that. Another thing that they mentioned on the Glowforge forum is that underneath here, there's actually an intake fan. So that is the intake fan right there. And they said that that is 
the actual reason why it needs to be two inches because this dips down a little below the Glowforge head. So that black part's the Glowforge head. And down below there is the intake valve. So I would just suggest sticking with the two inch limit that Glowforge says. If you are braver than me and want to push the limits and see what you can do, then that's up to you. But I'm a play it by the book kind of gal and, and I don't like taking huge risks. And so I think I'll just stick with uh, the two inch rule from now on. So just remember it's two inches without the crumb tray in. With the crumb tray, it's like almost an inch. It's a little less than an inch. I think it's point six to five inches thick so is the most you can do, which is why they say that the Glowforge can only cut up to half an inch thick wood and things like that. So that's just something to keep in mind. I hope that you enjoyed this short informational video about the height of materials that can go into your Glowforge and why those height requirements exist. If you have questions, please feel free to leave them below. I don't know everything, but I will do my best to answer your questions. And if you are considering purchasing a Glowforge, I would really appreciate it if you would use my referral link in the, in the description box. This gives you money off of a Glowforge and it gives me credits, which really helps me and my small business. So, and I also want to invite you to subscribe. If you haven't already, I make videos about the Glowforge every single Wednesday. So if that's something that interests you, please click the subscribe button. I would love to see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye.